Now, last October, you might remember that we followed 38 rugby league players, supporters of the Steve Prescott Foundation, and of course our very own Becky Barr, as they scaled Kilimanjaro in memory of the St. Helens player who died of a rare form of abdominal cancer. The aim was the world's highest ever game of rugby league. And it is now officially a world record. We're going to talk to Adrian Morley and Lee Breers, who uh, former players, of course, who were up there on Kilimanjaro. Good to see you chaps. Also, uh, trustee of the Steve Prescott Foundation, Aid Cunliffe. We'll chat to them in a minute. Good to see you, Aid. Uh, first, let's just remind you about that adventure. I'm used to tough things, I like tough things, but I'm all over the place. For the last seven or eight years of his life, he pushed his body to the limits. Come on, everybody! It's definitely the hardest thing I've ever, ever done. Uh, but We've got 38 group and we've had to pull each other through and you know things like this last a lifetime. Brilliant. Oh well done to all of you. Hey, does it does it bring it all back looking at that? It does bring it all back <laughs> indeed, yeah. And how difficult it was. It was yeah, it was the most difficult thing I've ever done yeah. in, in, my, in my life, full stop, and the guys will tell you that as well. Yeah. And I'd, I'd climbed Kilimanjaro the previous year. But I didn't play rugby league. <laughs> it took me yeah. to a whole so new level. You weren't, it wasn't just a gimmick. Well, that's the guys. You, you both played rugby league. It wasn't just a gimmick. It was a proper game of rugby league. It's a proper game. We had to have a, an official referee, Robert Hicks, come up with us, and had to be 18 minutes, and uh, you know all the all the rules. Had to we had to abide by that. So it's uh, been officially sanctioned now by the uh, the Guinness Book of Records, and. Yeah, very proud to have been part of it. You've, you've all got a, a Guinness Book of Records certificate. And you've only just got those, I believe. That's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, there you go. Yeah, show us how it. Brilliant. And, and the match ball as well, of course, that we've got. Um, Lee, uh, just tell us, what, what do you think Steve would have made of what's been done? I know he raised a lot of money while he was still alive, but what do you think he would, he would make of the legacy that's, that's still going on? Yeah, he'd be over the moon. And, and with this challenge, Steve would have lapped it up. He, he would have gone for it, you know, feet first. and and really had a good dig at it. It was, it was a fantastic effort from all involved. You know, 38 of us uh, managed to, to get to the top and you know, Steve would have loved that. Yeah, and of course you have got this world record now, Aid, but it's, it is really, ultimately, it's all about raising money, isn't it, for the, for the foundation? It is, yes, uh, money and awareness as well. You know, the, the, ch the charity just broke through the million pound barrier. That's hence, the, hence the sweatshirts. Yeah, hence oh, the sweatshirts. Yeah. It's uh, one million pound year for us. We just had the Yorkshire Three Peaks last weekend and that took us over the mm. million pound barrier. But we've got, you know, a lot of life left in us and a, a long journey ahead. Well, yeah, because you've got, who shall I ask, you've got another challenge coming up. Yeah. Adrian, you tell us. What, well, what's your next? Yeah, Adrian. Well, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> the, the, the doing Everest Base Camp next, yeah. but I'm not doing that. I'm going to do my own challenge. I'm going to run a marathon in, in October, so right. I'm not built for running marathons, so that'll be a uh, challenge in itself, but the boys are doing Everest, which... Uh, yeah, so in October we're, we're going to set off and uh, 40 of us are, are going to challenge and, and get up to a base camp of Everest. Now, look, you're, you're all competitive guys. Are you honestly going to stop at base camp or are you going to... I can <laughs> imagine you just telling the show, can we just get up there? Yeah, well, we're going to go to the next to the next level, just past base camp. Mm. Right, it's it's going to be a tremendously tough mm. expedition again. And, you know, looking back to Kilimanjaro, I said I'd never, ever do anything what <laughs> goes to altitude again. Oh, really? Ever. And I remember the conversation me, Aid and Martin Blondell had. Mm. We were having some breakfast three days after after coming back from Kilimanjaro. Martin just said, what's next? And I was halfway through my breakfast. Everest. Uh, and you thought he was messing about. <laughs> and I, I didn't think anything of it. And then crazy man over there, Aid, <laughs> phones me three days later, says, we can do it. We're I've wrecked it. it. What can it. we do? Well, we've got to wish you all the best for that. And, and you've managed to persuade them all to take part. So well done for that. Yeah. And there's, there's brilliant work done. Um, Steve had a pioneering operation, didn't he, just he before did. he died. Yeah. Um, amazing work that's being done. And I know we're on the programme, we're going to catch up with that in the next few days mm. and Wonderful. just see how that legacy is still living on as well. Yeah. Um, thank you all very yeah. much indeed for coming in. And great good luck with all the different thank projects you. you're doing. Good luck with the knees. Yeah. All that yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks thank for having me. Thank you.